In this walkthrough I'm going to have a look at how we go about adding some sheet music into Power Music. We've already looked at putting chord sheets in, so in this one we'll concentrate on sheet music. As before, click on New Song. This time we want to select the Sheet Music tab. And we've got three options here for importing sheet music. If we've already got images of a sheet music, it may have been scanned or taken with a camera, we can just take the images in using this button here. If we have a piece of sheet music as a PDF file, which is by far the most common way that sheet music is uh, stored electronically these days, we just click on the Import by PDF button. And finally, if you've got a scanner connected to your computer, uh, you can click on the Scan button and you can scan directly from your scanner into Power Music. I'm just going to do the second one. The other ones are fairly self-explanatory. So Import from PDF. What we need to do is browse to the PDF file and I've got a piece of classical music here, which I think is this one. So I'm just going to open this up now. And it's a sonata for violin and piano. OK, what we have here is a preview of one of the pages and if we click on any of the thumbnails at the side here we can see the pages. I'm going to select all of these pages so I can click on the first page and go down to the last page, hold down shift and click on that. That selects them all. If for any reason you don't want to select them all, you can use the command key to select or deselect individual thumbnails and individual pieces of music. The DPI setting determines the resolution the music is taken into Power Music. 150 is the default value. If you're planning to enlarge the music, you might want to take it at a larger DPI, but 150 default value suits most screen sizes. OK, let's just capture the pages. This will take a couple of seconds. When it's finished, you'll show the last page in that wee window there, so that shows that all the pages are in. We're finished. Click on Finished and it has returned the pages into the editor here. You can see all the pages, page 1 to page 13, and if I click on any of these pages, you can see them here. If I wanted to modify the pages here, I can right-click on any page, I can move it up and down the list, I can duplicate that page. So, for instance, if a piece of music looped back to the start, rather than having to move back to the start in the music, you can copy the first page and put it in the appropriate part of the music. And you can also delete pages of music from there. OK, let's just preview this now. So we click on Preview. And that's the preview of the first page. Now notice that it's again one page per screen because that's the default setting. If I just move these apart. I think I want to try this at three pages per screen. So I can go up to three pages per screen and click on Preview again. And yes, I think that will be just fine. So I'll go back to the Details tab. And here I can enter in details of the piece of music. I can put in the author composer, the copyright information and so on. But of course what I have to do is give it a title. So I'm going to add the title and its title was K379 uh, and we'll just save that. OK. Now that everything's in place I simply click on the Save button and that's that piece of music added into Power Music. And there we can see it. There's uh, Rondal Turk, Amazing Grace and our sonata. Three pages per screen as we set it up. 